Hi everyone and welcome to my new true crime channel, Beyond the Pale. I'm Nellie B. Let's talk. So, a big question for all of us, um, well, why there are no visible footprints or blood trail outside uh, 1122 King Road, Moscow, Idaho. Um, so I thought I'd do an experiment and this will literally take um, a minute of your time just to have a look. I did this, I repeated this experiment three times and I trod in ketchup in my daps, as we say in Wales, I, my scruffy daps. And um, I watered it down a tiny bit so it would be the consistency of blood. This might be a little bit stickier. However, um, after three attempts of doing the same experiment, I could see that within, I would say, between six to eight footprints, they fade away very rapidly. I think by the time the perpetrator left the last room he visited, by the time he got outside Dylan Mortensen's room and by the time he exited the slider, allegedly, um, they would have faded to pretty much nothing. So it all makes sense to me now uh, why the footprints were latent and why there was no bloody footprints visible to us um, as we looked at um, law enforcement, FBI, etc., um, investigating the crime scene. I would love you to like and subscribe to my new channel. Um, I'm going to be continuing with the uh, Moscow, Idaho 4 case. Uh, the four students who were brutally slain um, in their beds or in their rooms, at least, um, in November 2022. Um, I'm uh, all about presumption of innocence in two until proven guilty, no matter what case it is. Um, everything I put forward to you is speculation, theory, and I can't wait to get going with my channel. And thank you so much for joining me. Please comment below, please like, and please subscribe. Thank you.